again! We're back again! And they call this game the f***ing short message. Oh my god, man. What is going on? They jumped off the building. A second time. There was a second building. Bro, this is this is something. Something's drag. Even if I die, this doesn't end. How many times do I have to go through this? Hey, this is dark. I'm still trying to find it. Where am I? Hey! Well, I just fucking disappeared. I ended up heading to the roof of the villa. I can never think of the girl who jumped to her death last year. Actually, a lot of girls killed themselves here. All teens, supposedly. Not a place of famous spot for people to kill themselves. Looking down from the roof, I could see how high up I was. The thought of a light breeze sending me flying made me feel a little queasy. Were they not scared of what was going through their heads? Were they jumping away from something or to something? Oh. Man, this is some dark shiz right here. This is this this is dark. Don't you dare go outside. Don't you dare go outside. I can go in here now. Oh, that's locked off. Okay. New route. Oh, I don't like that. No hope. Let's squeeze through. No. We are really in the fucking deep end here, aren't we? Oh, oh, this is gonna be a bit spoopy. No exit. Well, I can see that. Hmm. Hi. Who's wise? Okay. Silent Hill phenomenon. There's a fact that suddenly you claim to see fog, even if ever the day in his consciousness shortly after. That's me. We are part of this Silent Hill phenomenon. Well, oh, bollocks. I don't know if I should go in any of these rooms, but fuck it, I'm just gonna open the door. No future, no exit. Well, thank you. Yeah, he's been so fucking real with me. Oh, uh, my, my phone's glitching. Go home, no hope. My phone's glitching. My phone! And we're home. Ah. Wait, me and my mom lived here. This is our living room. Mummy? Mummy, is that you? Oh. I finally lost touch with him. I never see him again. I thought I found my happily ever after, but it was all a dream. However, I haven't lost everything. I still have my children, my cute little angels who light up my life. Mummy? There was a second step there. Hmm, what's for dinner? Rations. Who is that? Mummy? Uh, I thought it was a little bit blurred. Mr. Teddy Bear? Oh, fuck you. We're going PT now, are we? We're going full PT. It changes a little bit every time. Oh. Oh. Oh, great, you haven't been cleaning up. Why won't you listen to a damn thing I say? I'm just looking at the pizza. Calm down, calm down. Just looking at the pizza. We're having a bit of a drink tonight and some, some, some. What's that? Good cola? Mmm. Only the best. I'm just looking. My new man showed up to my place there with pizza. Children definitely need a father, but they still won't take to him. He looked annoyed when he left. I hope he doesn't hate me. My daughter drew a picture of our family. We're smiling and holding hands. I wish she would have drawn him as well. Maybe she doesn't realize he might join our family. She is slower than other kids her age. I'm sure she'll catch up and pass them soon enough. I know how to raise a child. I'm a good mother. I'm nothing like that heartless bitch who raised me. I won't fill my children with hate and fear. Okay, well, thanks, Mum. Have I gotten shorter? In 
to the bedroom. He shut up again with a smile on his face and the pizza on his hands from the new place he was raving about. My daughter hated that pizza though. She's extremely picky. I should probably teach her to eat things he, uh, she doesn't like. I know I was forced to eat things I hated when I was a kid, but I guess it has to be done. The kids finally blew up in front of him today. He was exhausted from work and he said he just wanted to relax. He makes me feel so good, but I can't do the same for him. Maybe, maybe I'm not strict enough with them. We need him for we need him for a happy life and I need them to realise that. I know it's probably a little harsh, but maybe if they don't see the light for a while, they'll finally see the light in him. He told me the bang on the closet door was making it hard for him to unwind. If they would just be quiet for a little bit, everything would be fine. But what is wrong with them? He doesn't finish, he doesn't visit as much as he used to find a figure. She used to lock her kids in the wardrobe? In that one? Oh, I, I dare not. No, I have learned from previous games. Have I got to? Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm going to throw up my chicken card. I'm going to close my eyes for this. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. That's it. It's just trauma from the last PT. Well, no, nothing's happened. Okay. I'm giving up my life for you. Okay. Well, I've, I've I've used my chicken card, so now I can't do any more. Great. Chicken card has been used. Am I getting shorter with each passing? Great. Really great. Oh, the door's really open. Everything seems to be going well now that we've been going out on dates. He was worried about my kids, so he bought them a bunch of books and toys. I should be enough to keep them occupied, right? I've been going out so much lately that I've left the place in a, in a bit of a mess. <laughs> I should clean it, but by the time I get back, I have no energy. I got contacted by the child welfare officer. I guess some nosy bitch around. Someone in my building reported hearing a child crying at night in my place. What the fuck do they know? He hasn't come much lately. Am I destined to be alone? <laughs> Everyone else not enjoying life. While I'm, while I'm working my ass off raising kids, why am I the fucking bad guy? If I hadn't had children, maybe I'd be planning my summer vacation with my friends right now. Nothing matters anymore. I'm just crawling through life. I know what's going on in the closet, but I can't look. I just want to be happy. What's wrong with that? I'm done. <sighs> Fuck's sake, she left her baby in the closet. Man, this is, this is some dark shit right here, honestly. Fridge? It's in the fridge? Oh Christ. I'm going in here, I'm sorry. I hate the sound of the baby screaming. Uh, we have reached out to you repeatedly, but yet to have received a response. We take this to mean you have no intention of rem remedying this issue. You are in violation of a German Civil Code Article 1631, Section 2, according to the Federal Court, as instructed to take your children. Should you have any objections to this piece of as soon as possible, Frank Fisher, Ketchenstadt, Child Welfare Office. So we were taken from our parents, well, from our mum, because she was essentially, I mean, Going off what's happening in that freezer right now. Neglecting her kids. Oh. Hey. Oh, it's this closet. Right, my bad. Boy oh boy found dead in refrigerator. Mother arrest August 4th, 22. A boy was found dead today in a refrigerator in the home of his 41 year old mother, Person A, who was arrested by local authorities for hiding the body. Person A claimed to have locked her son in the closet for more than a day to punish him. And when she noticed he wasn't moving the next morning, she hid his lifeless body in the refrigerator. Investigators are conducting an autopsy to determine the cause of death. According to the investigation, Person A's daughter ran to a neighbor's house to call the police and report to her mother for neglect. When detectives arrived at the house, they discovered her brother's body in the refrigerator and arrested the mother after she confessed to the crime. So that, I'm assuming, is us. Let's run to the neighbor's house. Oh! 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 Oh. 
Mummy's got red eyes. She's angry. About to say it was her mum the witch, but <laughs> our mum's deranged. I would disassociate myself as soon as I could if I were you, love. But I guess the trauma. Maybe don't have any kids then if you feel you're cursed. Don't want nothing to happen to your kids. Oh. Why am I seeing this room here in the villa? I tried so hard to forget this place. Ah, uh, let's not go back in. Oh, don't let me shut in again. Oh, the fridge is open. Right. Um, is there anything else checking in before we go out? This has been one fucking roller coaster ride. This is Christ. Oh, there's no. I mean, I don't want to see anyone in there, but there's no one in there. All right, you ready for it? You ready for it? Bring it on. Oh. Home alone, home alone, home alone. Why am I saying home alone? Oh my goodness. Okay, this is a bit different to fucking last time. She looks a bit angrier this time, I think. Oh, I can't pick that up. I'm sorry. Whatever that was, I ain't got no time for it. I'm very sorry. Oh, what's that on my screen? Someone's on my screen. Who's on my screen? Is that, is that um, Amelie? Is that me? That ain't Maya. Who is on my screen? I was thinking ready to fucking turn around, but no. Uh, I'm taking the left route. Bye bye. Damn, bro. I'm just running for my little life right now. My little legs. They're being fucking stretched. Like no girl's business. Oh. Just. Oh, shit, bro. Just keep running. Just keep running. Hi, guys. Hi. So good to see you. I'm so happy to see you right now. Open the fucking door. Bye bye. Go left, maybe? I don't know. Go right? I don't know where the fuck I'm going. That's not if I'm doing good or bad. Oh, Mary Moes. Bye bye. I'll see you in just a little bit. Can't tell if I'm doing the right thing or the wrong thing right now. I really can't tell. My God! Hi guys, we're good to see you again. Bye bye. I don't know if I'm doing good. <laughs> oh, 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 there's a lot of noise. There's a lot of noise. Oh. Bye bye. Oh fuck. <laughs> How do I escape? <laughs> fuck you. Bye bye. Christ alive, man. Oh my god. I don't like it at all. I really don't like it. Oh, this could be bad. Oh my god, she's right there. Oh, this is a bit different. Oh my god! And right there. Oh. You're way too hard on yourself. <laughs> oh no! No, 
no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no! No! I'm so good! Ah, oh, man. Oh, we're doing so good there. I'm all the way back. No fucking way. I'm sorry, Mom! Alright. Fuck you, bitch. said that you're way too hard on yourself Fucking hell! No! Oh god! No, let me in! No! So I've enlisted on some great help, aka maybe a guide, and I'm going to run through this maze and collect these photos perfectly because goddamn, this is a huge ass maze. Okie dokie, let's go, baby. Let's friggity freaking go. All right, so first one is through here, and it's right, it's right here. The photos will come up on the phone. We need a photo. Uh-huh. Doopy doopy do. Next one is through here. On the right. On here. You're into art, right? You could audit an art class. There's one right here. You're way too hard on yourself. Goodness, right behind me, right behind me, right behind me. Well, hey, she is right there. Oh, wow, okay. She is right up my ass. And I'm going to the wrong room. I meant to go into 206. Bloody hell. Oh, my goodness gracious, she's right behind me. Right, room 206, I'm going to room 206, bloody hell. Mum? Oh, 
Chase. No, actually, no. I'm still being chased. <laughs> I've got all the photos. Oh, wait. Oh, here we go. Okay. That looks a little bit iffy and a bit sketchy. But I had to I had to enlist the help there. <laughs> no. Hopefully not. Okay, so I've had a little think. Let me just um Oh, a little bit of grain on the screen, a little bit of noise. Let me just, uh, let me just uh, put my theory forward. So I remember last episode when we found the notes because Maya sent a letter to Amelie. We hid it. Now we're in some sort of like continual loop of guilt and regret. Part of me feels like I know we were bullied at school, but remember the school scenes as well? And we went to Maya's locker and things were thrown at Maya's locker. Are we replaying... Maya's memories and Anita's presence. That's what I think we might be doing. I may be being absolutely stupid, but that's kind of one of the things I've I've picked up on. If that's the case, it's really quite depressing. Uh Schism Butch, have you got anything new for me? Nothing. So we have a letter here. February 21st is Maya's diary. I've been really absorbed in my work lately. I decided to paint the girls who jumped off the villa roof. I'd like to think they left this place for something better. I think I might be finally free of my despair because I never felt this inspired. I'm going to put every last bit of myself into this piece. So the girls and the drawings, are they the girls that... Oh, don't tell me she like copied people as they were dead. March 4th, my roof piece is almost done. It might actually be my crowning achievement. But once this is done, then what? Do I have it in me to come up with something even better? How much longer can I enjoy the fame and praise I get now? Is there despair and disappointment waiting for me right around the corner? The sadness that gripped me before has clawed its way back into my mind. I guess it was always there. Who knows how often it will show up? The thought makes my skin crawl. Maybe I should just end things while I'm still happy. Go out on a good note. I wish I could talk to someone about all this. Well, you did, but my person kind of, you know, hid it from you. I'm sorry. Um... I thought that opened. Well, I'm sorry, but um, I mean, I can't really apologize for my behavior because I did nothing wrong. I'm just, I'm just a passenger in all this. See, we look so happy in this photo. Why can't we just be friends? Why can't we just be friends? I'm gonna get jump scared here. Ugh. Why can't we just be friends? The best of friends. Best is the best friends. The absolute bestest of best friends march 13th 2022 at approximately 1 p.m on the 12th popular graffiti artist cb mayo akko hindenburg was found collapsed on the grounds of an apartment building in ketchenstadt she was pronounced dead at the hospital the death of the 18 year old girl comes as a shock to not only local community members but also to all those who are familiar with her work Authorities believe the cause of death may be suicide, but given her popularity and the lack of warning signs to her peers, they have not ruled out foul play and are proceeding with a full-scale investigation. Wait. She killed herself. Half a year ago. Half a year ago? Then that means I've been here this whole time. You've been here half a year? Oh. What will it take for you to forgive it me? It is me! Please. That is me, Please. right? Just let me die. Well, Skizen Butch. Why did you do this, Skizen Butch? Sakura. Nah. Okay. What's it gonna be? Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, whatever's next, I haven't seen yet. It's me! Is this. I said it was me so long ago. Oh, a new memory. I want to show the hidden side of girls. This was at the start their again. Impulses, their urges. 
Sorry, there was a dead in long legs at my camera. Oh, where's it gone? Don't worry about what people think. Oh, fuck off. Be proud. I'm very proud. <laughs> so, she did notice me. <sighs> you just let jealousy and spite get the better of you, young one. Okay. So, where do we go from here? Behind me? No one's behind me. I bet we go outside now and find another chase scene. How about another chase scene, guys? You love fancy that? You know what? I ain't gonna bother looking at anything. Let's go straight for it. Another chase scene? Huh? More? Hmm. Do I want to leave yet? Do I want to? Yeah, you can close them. That's fine. Wait a minute. Spread your wings and fly. Was this always here? I, I honestly don't know. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Let's go for it. Happy endings, huh? It's behind me now. CB door's still there. Can I go back in? Sorry, I just have to check. No, I can't. Okay, so this is it. This is... Teddy! You were here along, Teddy! I was so happy. <laughs> oh, it's just when I was a baby kid! Oh. Throw it back Thursday then for the kid. Oh. Oh. Okay. My school desk that was out in the corridor. My favorite. Hmm. I could have had a different life too. I guess someone finally did love me. Oh, uh, you've been a city city gal. Schism butch, you're back. Schism book, you're back. You actually noticed me. I never thought you would. Mm, city girl, city girl. And you played a part in her ending her own life. I, I... Mm. Emily, what should I do? You, oh. As you should see the light and move. Don't jump out the window because that's a bad choice. Okay. And so we reach the rooftops for a third and presumably final time. Please don't do anything stupid this time. Anita, what's up? I'm sorry, Amelie. I'm such a piece of shit. I had no idea she'd do that. What are you talking about? Oh, for fuck's sake! Not again! There's still someone that does see you. Wait. Where are you right now? Thank you, Amelie. You were always there for me. I'm... I'm going to go apologize to Maya now. Wait! Oh. Anita! Just yeah. Bloody hell. I've been through this two times and oh. Ooh, mate. Armalee coming in clutch. Oi. How does she manage to pull herself back? That's a Michael Jackson move, eh? Yes. Armalee, I thought you were a real annoying piece of shit at one point, but you've just saved me life. Oh, yeah, that's badass. You saved my life, Emily. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let it all out. Let the emotions flow. You're all good. There's always someone out there that loves you. Always. That's a happy ending.
lovely. Uh, well, I mean, I mean, it's sad what happened before, but Amelie Seeing saved my life. Connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone and need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. There's no beauty in living like that. But I don't really mind. I just want someone to understand me. For those I love, and for those who love me, I want to keep moving forward and never look back to 18-year-old me. Well, hey. Ah. Oh. What a lovely ending. But, can I just say real quick, we jumped off that villa twice. How the fuck are we alive? Oh, together forever. Is that Amelie and Anita? We're just gonna, okay. I thought something was gonna like pop up at the screen and I was gonna say, oh dearie me. Once again, please do read that. If you are suffering, there is always someone out there. There are always people that can help. I am here for you in spirit, wherever and wherever. You're not alone. No one's ever alone. There's always someone out there for everyone. I promise you that. I give you my all on that. And now we're back to the start with the option to choose the chapters. That chapter three was a bitch, I want to say. That last chase was really tough. But that was Silent Hill. The short message. I really enjoyed that and I'm really glad I played this. I'm so happy to see a new Silent Hill teaser out. If this becomes a full game, if there's like a full game made from this style soon, I'll be very happy about it. I 100% buy it and I 100% play it. Let me know your thoughts on this game in the comment section down below. And as always, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. It's the kind of game for you. If you want to see more games like this, I have a feeling that there will be some at some point soon because I've had a thrill recording, editing, and playing this game. It's been a breath of fresh air. I've got a new format to go with my recording and editing, up, rendering, upload, and everything right now. It's really working well for me and I'm really enjoying it. It's giving me more freedom and more time to do more things that I want to do with my recording and my time when I'm off. If I get the right game and the right amount of time to play it, there'll be some bangers coming your way hopefully soon. Thank you all once again. I have been BDFO18. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.